welcome back to another video guys right here behind me it is the uh, 84 Nissan 720D and today I'm going to change out the uh, tri shaft center support bearing as you can see right here the reason I'm changing my out is because it was making a lot of noise and then when I come down here I see it's like this so that means the uh, drive shaft it was going like this the whole time when I was driving and this have to be replaced right now so if this is what you're looking for let's get into it all right I'm gonna start out by using the 14 millimeter wrench and before that make sure you inspect your tool for example, this one over here is kind of wore out. You see the dent over there, and this is not. It's because over here, this the nut you have to remove over here, and you cannot put a uh, socket in here or a um, impact wrench in there. So you gotta be careful. Use the right tool and a, and a good quality. That way you don't damage this stuff. If not, you're going to have a big headache. I sprayed my yes today with a WD-40. So right now it is kind of easy to, to move see around already. I didn't have to put a lot of pressure on it. Okay, go back just for a little bit. You can remove it from the uh, rear differential right here by using a 14 millimeter wrench or over here right beside the uh, bearing by using a 10 millimeter wrench as well the only reason i'm not doing it right here is because there is this uh bracket right here and then uh not enough space up here on the bottom plus the uh set the frame over here and another bracket and it's kind of very tight space so I decided do it from here and all the way out all right after losing all the, the uh, three nuts over there and now this one over here is because right between the tank so now I had to uh, raise the car up and then for me to rotate the shaft down here that way I can get to it after raising the truck up one side or both sides, it don't matter, it still works. So now we turn this one down the way we will need to need it to be. I think it's that one. <laughs> Already. Yeah, that's one over here. Now we for you removing the last bolt out. Make sure you get you a marker. Something like this. Just in case. That way you know for sure how and where it goes back just like that door on this side on the transmission side and then do it on the uh, camshaft side as well just like that over here do that and do another one just in case it warps off you never know that way you never make mistakes oh well might as well do it in the middle too like this just to be 100% for sure. Believe me, I made mistake before, so I don't wanna do those again. Now, after doing all that, you can remove the last bolt right here by using the uh, screwdriver over, over here, or you can just uh, put the carpet down to the ground and should do it, but this time, oh, yeah, it's easy. It wasn't too hard.
now after that one let's do this one over here make sure you get some uh oil pan catcher you know oil, oil catcher just in case there is gear oil it's gonna come out here so far it's well it's nothing come out that's good all right to remove the bracket or the housing of the bearing use a 14 millimeter suck it up here and then a uh, 14 wrench over here hope, hope it's fit first move the, the bottom one right here this one over here she's finally out that's how she look like all right i'm going to remove this bolt in the middle over here using um two 12 millimeter wrenches Now, after coming apart like this and remove it away, and then uh, there is a uh, two flat head screwdriver right here. I ground them down to the width, the smallest width I can, and different thickness. So this is I'm going to start out with to stretch it out, and then uh, the thicker one go a second. It's like this. That should do it and now i'm going to uh, use the uh, 116 inch deep socket i'm going to take this uh, nut over here and this whole thing should come out Now just pop this one off just like that. There you go. And now spray it with the blaster. Just like that. Now get a chisel and a hammer and leave this on like this just in case you drop it down over there. You won't damage it. So and then that hitting from here in the back side. I don't know if you can see it, but over here there is a lips or shield over here so you cannot get into the um, actually bearing inside try this one first if it doesn't work then uh, you may have to cut cut it over here cut through the metal right here and then cut half of this and it will loosen it up and then you can hit it up with a chisel or hammer or whatever but try some first Now this is the lip I was telling you about over here because the outside the bearing it looks like this. So these lips over here have to go inside the shield like that. So that's why you couldn't you couldn't hit it at the right place. I was hitting it right over here beside the metal. If you can see the metal, that's best and you can hit it right there. But if not, just hit it on the rubber okay guys here's the important stuff at the moment first before everything 
get you some grease like a uh, any grease put around here in this case I'm using the uh, red and tacky grease it's the Lucas one so I'm gonna do this and then uh, inside the uh, bearing as well right here All right, and this is the part I'm using today. Uh, this is the uh, part number over there. Hope you can see. I'm not gonna say it, but it's away from me. And then it's, it is made in uh, Taiwan. So this is the part comes with, this is how it comes. It doesn't come with a bracket or the housing. This is just it right here because I can uh, use this one right here. And then uh, inside this little baggie over here, there is the, uh, I should say, uh, lac nut, I guess. And then there's a two washer. And surprisingly, the old one, it don't have one of this. And I try to look where it fits. It, it, I guess it's for different model of other car. But this is the uh, um, 84 pickup. 720D so but it does comes with this one because it's supposed to go in here so let's right now and uh, do this one it's supposed to see that the hole over here on this side around this this bearing and then it's smooth over here so this is going to face to the front of the truck it's like this and this side to the um, reed of the truck so just slide it in like this it sh should go in like that and and then the uh, tool you can use I try to look in my uh, oh my press I cannot find any tool and on my uh, biggest deepest socket I could not find one so but I found one in this box over here is the um, front wheel bearing drive axle like nut socket set so the reason this one works here because it lot deeper and inside this over here there is still a hole over here so it really fits perfectly there is no excess there is no extra that's perfect on this one thanks god now I begin by just doing hand like this that way you can even up before you hit it and now it is this is the 29 millimeter from that set so it fits perfect there is no access into it there is no there doubt to it so you can hear it little by little until it evens up now after it goes down you can hear it hard because now you know it's going down good all right now it's perfect it's in there right there remember how you the old one look like that's how you put it back in all right now remember we are doing yourself so you do you do it right the way you want your car runs make sure you clean it up with a wire brush or something around that way nothing gets in there and then I'm gonna put some grease on as well. That way it's easy to slide in. I don't want it hard, I want it soft. And then put this one back in here. There's a dot over here, original in there for the factory, I guess. And there's another one here as well. So I'm going to try to match this one up like that. Hope you can see it. I think it's good enough. So these shoes lie in there quick. Okay, after you doing this and hit it with a uh, one one inch and one sixteen uh, socket like here with a rubber hammer that it evens up. You can use this in there when it goes in but you know i will, I will do this one 
Okay, now I realize why um, the um, the new one comes in this way. It's because the old one. This is what this one look like right here. It will cover the whole ring, the uh, whole uh, washer. But the new one, this is the new one right here. So when you put it in there, see the difference right there. Hope you can see it. And this is the one that comes to the new one. So if I use the new one without using this, that's how it's going to look like. It's not going to help any. But if I use the old one, it will still okay. But it's very narrow or thin but this is over here it's wide as you can see the difference over here so i may use the original bag it still looks good so i may use it because i don't like this one i'll be honest with you and i don't like the needle so but if but if you decide to use this the new one so that means you're going to do like this put this in there in here first and then this one like this and then of course like that the old one was like this was like this so um, i'm going to use the old one because it look like high quality okay so let's do this and like this this is how i'm going to do my i'm going to go with this one just in case it needs it so it makes sure it's sealed out just like this and now I'm going to put the old one in because that's what I decided to do. And it looks good. I don't have to do anything. I'm going to use the old one as well right here. So. Okay, now after that, and hand tighten like this. Away. And now since I used the old one, so I'm going to just to torque it down back to that slot over there to, for me to lock in. I don't know the exact spec, but that's, I'm going back to the original way. All right, that should do it, it's right there. Now just lock it down, right there. All right, it shouldn't go nowhere. Okay, now uh, it's time to put it back together. But one more thing before I go, and um, I decided not to use the new one as well because, as you can see in the video, I tried to put this in first and then the old one. The reason I didn't use this one because we'll not line this this not back to the hole over here. So everything in there is all new out here. It's going to the trash or save it for something else okay that's being said now i'm going to put it back together i'm going to put on time lapse i'm not going to talk no more so you can see what's going to happen here <music>
right, brother and sister. It is in there completely. As you can see, it's all the way there. All right, I hope you're still there or before I say bye bye. Uh, the way to reinstall the bracket or, or mount it back on the uh, frame, um, you had to put the bracket in the, or the housing first, like halfway tighten, not nearly halfway, this side here and that side here as well. It's because the uh, the ring outside the rubber housing, I mean not the rubber housing, the outside the rubber, the bearing over here, will not uh, line up inside the housing on the top and the bottom. So that's why I had to have I tighten it down and then hammer it in there with cheese or whatever thick metal you got to push it back inside the uh, housing over here and on the top one too. As you can see right now, my it's perfect, but I did have some hard time to put it back in there. I was thinking it's going to, but the, the, the bolt over here, the hole will not line up and over there. So I hope that helps you and appreciate what I'm doing. All right, guys, we finally done. We are finished and good to go. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you see, don't forget to share, like. And if you like what I do, don't forget to subscribe. Until next video, bye for now. Adios.